Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Throw you in a choke, gun smoke, gun smoke. Biggie smoke for mayor, the rock slayer, the hooker layer, motherfucker. Welcome to Experiments Within Video, where we bring you raw experiments straight from our creative team and look to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. In today's fourth episode of the series, we're going to show you how to create an epic motion poster like the one you've just seen. You can use this idea to create super cool reels and TikToks that people won't stop drooling over. To learn how to do this, all you have to do is create a free InVideo account if you haven't already, using the link in the description and follow along. Let's get down to it. The first step is to find some footage that we want to use for our epic motion poster. So we're going to start with a blank canvas and then I'm going to choose square dimensions but you can choose whatever dimensions you want to depending on where you plan on sharing your video. So now we're just going to go and click on make a video. Once the video editor loads we can search for some stock footage that we want to use for our motion poster video. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a two second segment out of the video and then we're going to turn those into PNG images because that way we can go and change the background for every second of that section of the video and then we can go and add that to the full length of the video so what you can do is you can just click on video over here and then we can go and search for any type of video that we want to use for our motion poster video so I've just searched for super slow-mo basketball shot and I'm gonna go and hit enter once you've found the footage that you want to use for your motion poster video just go and click on it and then the video trimmer will load from here we can trim the two second clip that we want to use to change the backgrounds of our motion poster video so just go and trim out the bit where you want to change the background so I'm gonna go and trim mine out just before he dunks the ball at around 3 seconds 78. Now because I only want this to be a 2 second clip, I'm just going to put the out time to 0 5 78. Then all we need to do is just click on done. Now make sure that your scene duration matches the trimmed video. So we're going to click on the pencil icon here and I'm just going to go and change this to 2 seconds as well and click tick. We are also going to delete this caption from the scene and also this logo placeholder so we have a completely blank canvas. Then you just need to resize your footage so that it is the same size as your canvas. So I'm just going to go and drag this like this and once again I'm just going to go and make it a bit bigger so that it is the same size as my video canvas. Once you've resized your footage we now have that two second clip that we can use to change the backgrounds for our motion poster video so we're just going to go click on download and share and then just go and click on export. Once the clip has finished exporting you're just going to go and hit download. Now we have gone and downloaded that two second clip we're going to head over to a website called ezgif and from here we can go and turn that clip into some png images so we can easily change the background. So we're going to go to apng then we're going to go to video to apng then we're going to go and hit choose file then just navigate to that two second clip that we just downloaded and hit open. So now we're just going to go and hit upload video and once the video has finished uploading we're going to scroll down and where it says don't animate output a sequence of png images we're going to go and tick this box and click convert to apng. It will then convert each frame of the video into images. So now we're just going to go and hit download frames as zip. Once you've downloaded those images, once again we're going to head back to InVideo, choose a blank canvas and click on make a video. Once again you want to delete everything from your canvas so you have a completely blank canvas. Now we're going to create a new folder for our project, so just click on create new folder and name your folder. Once you have created your folder, we're going to go and upload those images. So just click on upload media and then select all of the images and just upload them. Once the images have finished uploading, we're now going to add them to the timeline of our scene. So just click on timeline and what we're going to do is we're going to add these images one by one onto the timeline, starting with the first image, which would start with 001, going all the way through to the final image. Once you have added all of the images to your timeline, you now want to remove the background from all of the images. So just go and click on the image and then click on remove background. Then this screen will load and if you're happy with how it looks, just click on done. So now you're going to do this for all of the images in the timeline. Once you have deleted the background from all of the images, you should have this sort of warped image like this. So what we're going to do next is we're going to line up all of these images in chronological order on our timeline so they come one after another. So what you're going to want to do is just zoom into your timeline a little bit and then we are going to drag this down to the shortest time that it can be, which is half a second. So you're going to do this for all of the images on your timeline, drag them down to half a second and then what we will do is we are going to go and just bring them sort of halfway between each other. So if I just come and bring this halfway between here, we're going to drag this image and line it up halfway between our first image. So now we can go and repeat that process. So this third image, we're going to go and drag it so it's halfway between the next one. And then we're going to just drag it down to half a second. So now you're just going to go and repeat that process for all of the images on your timeline. <music> 
So now your timeline should look a little something like this with all of your images coming one after another. So if we go through this, we can sort of see that it looks like he's moving now. So the final part of the process is to add a background image behind each one of these images. So if you just click on images over here and then you can search for any type of image that you want to use as a background. So I'm just gonna go and type in paper abstract art. And once you find an image that you like that you want to use for your background, you're just going to drag this onto your timeline. Then all we need to do is just drag this image to the bottom of the first image on our timeline and then we can just go and add this to the background of the first image. So we're just going to resize it so that it's the same size on our timeline. And then all we can do is we can go and click on the image and then we're just going to resize it so that it fits the size of our canvas. So like I said, now just repeat this process so every image on your timeline has a different background image. If you're receiving value from the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a big thumbs up. Once you've added a background image to each of the images on your timeline, your timeline should look a little something like this. So now we can sort of see that the image is moving and also that the backgrounds are changing every image. Now, the last thing that we are going to do is just add a filter to the original images of the footage just to make it stand out a little bit. So if we just go to the first image on the timeline, we can go to filters and I'm just gonna go and add this Jinza filter. So now you can see he sort of stands out a little bit more so you can just go and do this for every second image on your timeline that is of your footage Once you have added a filter to every image on your timeline, you've basically done the hard part now. So the last bit is to just go and add the beginning and end to our video. So in order to do this, we are just gonna go back to all scenes. Now just bear in mind that the total duration of the scene is 334, so it should match your scene duration over here. So now we're gonna go and add another blank scene. So just go and click on yes. And now we're just gonna go and drag this scene to make it the first scene. So now we're gonna go and search for our original footage and we're just going to go and cut it so that it transitions into this middle scene with all the different backgrounds and then back into the original footage. So once you have found your original footage, just go and click on this footage and then we are going to trim it. So I originally trimmed the footage from 378 to 578. So this time I'm just gonna go and trim the footage from zero to 0377. So once you have trimmed your footage, you can just go and click on done. Now once again, make sure that your scene duration matches this. So once again, I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna go and choose 03 and 77 and I'm gonna hit tick. So now we just want to resize the footage so that it just transitions into the next scene perfectly. So click on your footage and use a bit of trial and error to resize it to make sure that it transitions perfectly. So I've just gone and resized my footage and as you can see, it just transitions perfectly just like that. So what we can do is we can go and duplicate this scene, then we can just trim the footage to the end of the footage. So just go and hit duplicate scene and then we're gonna hit yes. And now we can go and drag this scene after our second scene. And now what we can do is we can go and trim this footage. So if we click on this, we can go and hit trim. And now I can go and trim this out at 579 because I originally trimmed the footage out at 578. So it's gonna transition from 578 straight into 579. So you can see I've just trimmed the footage from 579 and I've just left two seconds to 779. And now I'm gonna hit done. So now you can go and add some music to your video. So I'm just gonna go and click on this and hit delete. And then you can go to the music library over here and you can go and search through the thousands of tracks that you could potentially use, or you can go and upload your own music. So I've just uploaded my own music, so I'm gonna go hit add as background. And the final thing that we are going to do before we export the video is just to add some glitch where the transitions are. So in order to do this, we're gonna to go to more, we are going to go to overlays, and from here you will see some of these glitch overlays. So just go and choose one of these glitch overlays, and then what you can do is you can just go and drag it down like this, so that way it's just before the scene transition. So now we're going to go and click on the next scene and we're just going to repeat that process. So now we've added those glitch transitions. Let's go and play the entire video. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. So as you can see, we have an epic motion poster video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to check out the two previous videos in this series where we show you how to create something equally cool. This is Elliot with InVideo and I'll see you in one of those videos.